Second you need What's up everybody? Up Welcome there. back to Horizon not budging from that spot. Forbidden West. I might be able to sneak up on it if I stay out of its line of fire. It's got some kind of shield up. It'll be a tough fight if I take that thing heavy. A heavy weapon. That can help. We failed last time. Hopefully we don't fail this time. We're gonna take this Ravager cannon and we're gonna stick it over here. We stick that right there, okay? Then I'm gonna sprint over. Oh wait, can I actually examine this now? No, it's cooled down, but I'm gonna have to examine it after the fight. Makes sense. I could use it against the Spectre. Just what I needed. And then we're gonna walk this one towards the other heavy weapon. Because this one fires slower is my kind of reasoning behind it. from last time that we can sneak So useful. Damn you. That's the weak spot. Oh. Fuck, dude. This fight sucks. I hate it. <laughs> Getting one shot at 390 health just does not not feel does not feel good. I need to sneak on. Yes, I would agree with that.
Wait, what? What happened to my fucking... No, it shoots uh, in, 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 inevitably. That sucks. I didn't realize it would shoot a shot inevitably. I should have, but I didn't. Cheating. You need some ammo? I need some help. Oh. Fuck off. Dude, come on, I couldn't even move. Maybe I should dive jump. Maybe I should roll into it? I don't even fucking know. Why can I not make these this time? That's pissing me off. Damage. Where'd it go? Not only do I not have my shield, my, my, my one, my one shot, I also don't have the, uh, dude, that's so stupid. It goes through walls. Ghost is going crazy now. Now I got to deal with this. I got to deal with the dog barking in my ear. That's fine. I'll do it back down the fucking hill. Back down the fucking tunnel, man. Bones. Sucks. Let's 
get some metal. Jesus Christ. I think he just glitched and jumped over there like that. Definitely like more knockdowns like in the last fight against one of these things. Oh my goodness. Stand in the way, please. Come here. Lots of people have been commenting on the videos, by the way, saying stuff like, oh, I tried out this ultra hard mode. I had to stop. I had to quit. Stuff like that. I don't care how many shots it takes us to beat these things. We're going to win. I will beat this game on hard or on ultra hard. I might not beat like all the, the hunting grounds on hard mode, but I'm going to beat the base game on hard mode. Ultra hard mode. he says how about i blow it up yes hey Lord. she's look i swear i'm not drunk but right now i'm seeing double long story but it'll have to wait she needs a healer, but we need to get her back to the base immediately. Right. Yeah. Well, what are we waiting for then? You two go on ahead. I need to take another look at that weapon. If I can figure out how that thing works, maybe the Zenus won't be so invincible after all. Direct specter. Oh, what a fight. But we got there. We got there. In that last fight, I didn't really 
Did I get hit? I, may, I might have gotten hit like once at the, and then that last time I attempted. Why am I stuck? Yeah, and the last time I attempted, I think I got hit like one time. Maybe, maybe not even. Good job, me. No. The middle ball in the middle, it's okay. Damn it. Well, it's better than nothing. We aren't even scanning it? Why did my screen go black? I need to get the weapon fragment to Gaia to analyze. If we can replicate it, maybe we'll have a way to defeat the Zeniths. I should check on the clone too. Burl. Where's our guest? We're in the maintenance corridor below the control room. Okay. So the old ones pick. Errand? You okay? Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, why wouldn't I be? Because there's two of me now. Hey, there's two of you now! Well, at least you seem to be handling it okay. Uh, I wouldn't say that exactly, but I'm trying. Did you speak with Beta at all? She didn't really wake up till we brought her here. And when she did, I, I thought it'd be better if Zoe and Varl took care of her. No use crowding someone when they're in a state. What are you reading next? I saw a guy added something to the archives about metal rods being used to harness lightning during storms. Guy reminded me of a cousin of mine. Thought he could trap lightning if he covered himself in stormbird plates went up the tallest mountain in the claim to prove it it ended like a lot of osram things do with a spark and a boom what are you working on with your focus i'm still figuring out how to read stuff on this thing those two lovebirds over there have been giving me a hand but to be honest all the little symbols they give me a headache but i'll get up to speed I promise. You're doing great, Varl. I have to Varl go, Aaron. Don't go causing too much trouble. Mint errand. Next. Sorry, I can't talk to you over the top of the counter. Aloy, you're back. Yeah, I'm just uh, checking up on how everyone's doing. You mean after meeting someone who looks exactly like you, but isn't you, down in the basement? Guess this must be even stranger for you than it is for us, huh? A little. <laughs> Varl said she may be able to help us in our mission, though. Maybe. You said you met Beta? Varl mentioned she was hurt. I thought I'd offer her an extract to soothe the pain. That was kind of you. I just hope she doesn't plan on staying burrowed down there like that. She looks like she's barely seen the light of day as it is. What else have you been up to? I've been studying Gaia's seedlings, the subfunctions. I wanted to understand why one of them would do what they did to Fa. Imagine my surprise when I looked into this Hephaestus and found out it helped create all machines, our land gods included. In a way, the Utaru owe Hephaestus our whole way of life, as well as our current troubles. That's why we have to make Gaia whole again. Learn anything interesting lately? There's been much to read up on now that Ether has been reunited with Gaia. It's hard to imagine that machines like Stormbirds once helped heal the skies. I used to be terrified of them as a child. Thunder still brings chills to my skin. But everything Gaia creates has a purpose, no? Yeah. And if we can get Hephaestus back, she can get those Stormbirds in line. I need to get going. May the land bloom in your steps. Thank you. May the force be with you. Aloy, we've gathered some supplies in that chest. Take what you need. Thanks. All right, we got to look around the rooms and see where everybody's at again. Sorry, we're going to speed run it this time, though, because, you know, we've already gotten the dialogue from most of the rooms, so. Where'd Catalo go? See, where'd Catalo go? So the old ones painted their faces with something called... Makeup, go like down. the car chip. Why? Yeah, it beats me. Gotta go down there. 
Arl's down there. Where's the one? Where's Kataro though? Kataro! There he is. Looks like some of the holograms are working now. I have repurposed the displays to track Regala's activity in the region. A useful war map. I hope I'm not interrupting. No, but I must ask. The woman Varlin Aaron brought in, she's related to you. It's hard to explain. Um, she's more of a copy. Hmm. Good. If she's anything like you, we've just gained reinforcements. Maybe. I already talked about all this. What do you want to talk about here? What did Chief Akaro say when you told him he... You spilt rebel blood at the Grove and helped reunite the clans. There was little more to be said. He understood. Well... I... Indeed. Okay. All right, well, I guess so there we go. I mean, we've already I talked about that, but whatever. I came by the base. Did you get a chance to meet her? Briefly. A bold woman going into Tanakh territory with that Karja armor of hers. She'll be lucky if my people don't shoot her on sight. She'll be careful. She's just looking for someone who might need her help. Whoever it is, they better be worth dying for. Have you had a chance to speak with Varl? Briefly. He fought well against Regala's troops at Baron Light. Are all Nora as skilled as the two of you? I'm not exactly one of them. But anyway, the Nora can hold their own. They managed to push the Karja from their lands. I thought my tribe was the only one to have done that. Impressive. You said you were training with the Focus? That's right. I've been... Watching holograms of your first fight with the Zenith Spectres. They are faster and more agile than any machines I've faced before. How many do the Zeniths have? I'm not sure. Probably a lot. I would not wish to face them en masse. I'm with you there. Getting Aether out of the Grove made for quite a spectacle. One that showed the entire tribe that Hikaro's mission for peace is the correct path, for it is now blessed by the Ten themselves. Hmm. Have you nope, had a chance? Nope, sorry, my, my, my apologies. My apologies. Oh, oh, sorry, Miss Click. There we go. I need to go. Bye. On your way then. All right, time to find Varl and Beta, who hopefully gets a better name by the end of this, or will probably die. Aloy, glad you made it back okay. She panicked after waking up and stumbled down here. I thought it best to wait for you. I'll talk to her. Hello? It's, uh, it's Beta, right? My name's Aloy. What's wrong? Is it your injury? Simulacrum withdrawal syndrome. I don't understand. Sudden removal of a neurologically integrated data device. The brain, especially the cerebellum, goes into a kind of sensory freefall. Everything real feels unreal, distant. Is there anything that can help? Do you have a focus to spare? It's, it's primitive, but I can make it work. Yeah. Booting up. <sighs> what if she's a spy? So, uh, Aloy, I suppose you want information. <laughs> that would be about weird. About you and the Zeniths? Yeah. Why are they here? What do they want? How did they get you? But let's start at the beginning. I'm guessing they faked the destruction of their ship a thousand years ago. That seems consistent with their behavior. They wouldn't want to be followed. So far, Zenith established a colony world after all. Yes, for a few hundred years, but it didn't last. Some sort of natural disaster rendered it uninhabitable. Okay, so 
The descendants of Far Zenith escaped a dying planet, and now they want to claim Earth for themselves? Not their descendants. What? Not their descendants. It, it, it's them. The same ones who left Earth a thousand years ago. You didn't know? How can they still be alive? They don't even look... What did they do to themselves? I believe it's a combination of pharmaceutical, cellular treatments, and technological implants. And, and you? Does that mean that you're... I'm not like them. I was made. On the way to Earth. On the ship. I spent years studying in my training interface. All so that I could serve my function. Access and control of the terraforming system. But why? What do the Zeniths want with it? When I discovered the Zero Dawn system had disseminated into its subcomponents, I thought my purpose was to fix it. But I don't think the Zeniths want that at all. I think they want to wipe Earth clean and start over. So the Zeniths want to exterminate life on Earth. That's what Gaia and I concluded too. But why? Why kill everyone just to take over? When they took me on missions with them, I saw how they... butchered the tribal people we encountered. They didn't seem to care about a rejuvenated Earth, so... I concluded that they must want a hard reboot of the system. Then they can redesign it to be exactly what they want. Mass extinction for their own comfort? Who thinks like that? Well, without their Gaia Colonel, they'll have a hard time doing that. The Zeniths needed Elizabeth's gene print to access Zero Dawn facilities. So they made you. Trained you. And you went along with it? They told me I was born to interface with the Zero Dawn system. When we reached Earth, I pieced together what must have happened to Gaia and her subordinate functions. That's when I started to realize I wasn't meant to fix Gaia. That they must have made me so I could do what their remote extinction signal failed to do. Reboot Earth for their own benefit. Ah, what happened? So you know about the extinction signal. It was speculation, but the only logical conclusion why Gaia suddenly self-destructed after operating efficiently for centuries. Gaia would have only undertaken such a desperate course of action if it had detected a threat to life on Earth that was more dangerous than ceasing function altogether. I should have realized that she would also order the recreation of Elizabeth Sobek to rebuild her. Yeah, well, surprise. So we're dealing with the same Far Zenith people who once lived on Earth. What else do you know about them? They were some of the most affluent and powerful people on Earth. They controlled almost every major resource, every industry. Gerard commands them. He's the one who decided to set up a base. The others, Eric, Tilda, Verbena, they resent his authority over them, but in the end, they always do what he says. Eric, he's the one I fought back in the Hades Proving Lab. He enjoys hurting people. Yeah. I know. You mentioned the Zenith set up a base here on Earth. Where is it? Off the coast, I think. Whenever I had to go on missions, I was transported inside of a Spectre drone. I couldn't see anything outside. But I did overhear the Zeniths talking about it once. They were discussing setting up a perimeter energy shield to repel the local fauna. I'm certain they have other security measures. Spectre patrols, machine lures, it, it must be impregnable. What's inside the base? Launch facilities, so they can shuttle back and forth to their ship in orbit. Plus, infrastructure to gather materials and fabricate anything they need. Are there more Zeniths than the ones you met? Uh, I'm not sure. I, I suppose there must be more of them in the base or back on the ship. For all I know, there could be more of them out in space. Are there survivors of the colony? You said the Zenith's colony in the Sirius system was destroyed. What happened? All I was ever told was that a natural disaster forced them to leave Sirius. I've speculated that it was an extrasolar object or a cataclysmic seismic event. Or maybe even an abnormally violent coronal mass ejection from Sirius A. The Zeniths never told you any details. They said the only thing that mattered was that they survived. First Earth, a thousand years ago, and then Sirius. Guess they survived old age, too. 
I made the same problems on their colony that they made on Earth. How did you escape the Zeniths? Before the Hades Proving Lab, I never thought I'd get away from them. Even if I were to run, I'd never survive on my own in the wilds. But then I saw you. And I thought that maybe you could help me. So when the Zeniths pinpointed Eleuthia's location in the biomedical research facility, I saw an opportunity. You said you saw an opportunity to escape when you went to capture Eleuthia. What did you do, exactly? Whenever I was taken out on a mission to recover a subordinate function, only one of the Zeniths would go with me. The one the rebels killed, outside the facility. But Bane is dead? How did they bypass her shield? I'm looking into it. But you were talking about your escape? Well, when it was time to use the Zenith's transmitter to send Eleuthia back to base, I also sent the encrypted transmission. Then I distracted Verbena long enough to seal myself in the ectogenic chamber, altering the facility's log so it appeared that there were only 236 containers. And the Gaia root kernel? I told them I could capture Luthia faster if I had it with me, and they believed me. Well done. You said you were born on the way to Earth. In an artificial womb, I'm guessing? The Zeniths had an ectogenic chamber aboard the ship. An updated version of the one you found me in. They must have used a stored sample of Elizabeth's DNA. I doubt Elizabeth would have let them take her DNA. Do you know how they got it? That wasn't part of the archive I was allowed to access. You said you spent years studying in a training interface. Was this archive you mentioned part of that? But only the parts I was permitted to access. Aristotle and Aspasia, the avatars of the Archive, would assign me learning modules and evaluate my progress. <laughs> Wait, those names. They were designed to be the virtual guides what? for the Apollo database before Ted Farrow purged it. Apollo's the recoverable. Copy. Oh my god. So it still exists. And you got to learn from it. Only what was deemed pertinent to the mission. If I requested information outside of my parameters, my tutors would deny it. To have all that knowledge just out of reach must have been frustrating. All right, I think that's enough for now. Do you want to come upstairs or so how long? You know, your, your, your plan. How long before Gaius fabricated a machine army to defeat the Zenus? How did you know optimal strategy, so? Well, I still have to get two more subordinate functions before Gaius powerful enough to absorb Hephaestus. What? You don't have Hephaestus already? Gaius still figuring out how to capture it. It's not confined to a single- To a single location, of course not! You didn't even know who the Zenus really are. You were supposed to be further along by now! Coming here was a mistake. They're gonna find me. They're gonna find this place and take me back. This was all for nothing. They're not going to find us. Guy is using Minerva to mask our location. What difference does it make? You're too far behind. We're never going to beat them. Everything, everyone, they're gonna die. Hey, calm down. You're here now, right? So is there anything you can do to help? I have certain knowledge sets. And given your state of progress, expertise you probably lack. Geoengineering, of course. Computer science, physics, biology, chemistry. Okay. Well, see if you can do something with that. Talk to Gaia. I'll check on you later. How'd it go? Her injury's not that bad, but I think she regrets coming here. Feeling might be mutual. Hmm. I'll come back later and talk to her. See if I can learn anything. I should get the weapon fragment to Gaia. But first, that's gonna be this one. See y'all in the next one. Peace.